Sophie. And I'm Alex. And today we're talking about the musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system is really important and it's composed of four major organs. The bone, the muscle, the tendon, and the ligament. These four organs are so important and the musculoskeletal system is so important that if we didn't have it, we'd just be blobs because the bone makes help you stand up. Stand upright and the muscles allow you to move. The musculoskeletal system is composed of two parts, the muscular system and the skeletal system. For now, we're going to start with the skeletal system. The skeletal system is composed of two organs, the bones and the ligaments. The bones are composed of two parts, the cortex and the bone marrow. The cortex is this outer part over here, and the cortex is the part that, keeps, that is white and it keeps your bone hard and rigid. Composed of a compound called calcium phosphate. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and the inside is a mushy material called bone marrow. Bone marrow is like on the inside, right over here. Yeah. And the bone and marrow is very important because, because it contains the red blood cells. Yeah, it makes the red blood cells which go down your bloodstream and, and make your entire body function. When they're when they're babies, they're called the erythroblasts. And when they're older, they're called erythrocytes or red blood cells. But we're talking about the uh, skeletal system. Now, let's talk about the ligaments. The ligaments are tiny proteins that connect the bones together. So this is one bone, and here we have another bone. Mm -hmm. the, muscul the other section of the musculoskeletal system is the muscular system. The muscular system is composed of two organs the muscles and the tendons. Let's talk about the muscles first. If we take a cross section of the bicep, yeah, part of our disgustingness. Yeah, <laughs> if, if we like cut it so oh, through here, you'll see these little tiny circles. If we pull them out, we'll see this. Those things over there, they're called fascicles. F-A-S-C-I-L-E-S, fascicles. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're called fascicles. And when you see the fascicles, there all there will also be tiny circles in there, and those circles are very important because those are the muscle cells, also called myofibers. So let's pull them out, and we we'll realize there are a few bumps on it. Anyway, let's take a deeper look at it. All right, so we magnify this teeny tiny muscle cell, also known as a myofiber, and we get this muscle cell over here. So this is our muscle cell right over here. And so the muscle cells have these little humps on it, and those humps are for the nuclei. It carries the nuclei. Yeah, a cell, most cells have nuclei, almost all of them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so this is our muscle cell, and the muscle cell is almost the end of it, but it's almost the end of the um, muscles. But there are actually some smaller circles inside the muscle cells that are actually microscopic. And we're about to talk about those. But first, you're going to need to know something. There's another cell that's right next to, that's right next to the muscle cell. And it kind of looks like this. And it carries electrical signals. And once, and once it carries an electrical signal, it stimulates this myofiber. And that's going to be important when we talk about those teeny tiny circles over there. Which are, by the way, they're called myofibrils. Now we're up to our beautiful, microscopic, awesomely small myofibrils. Anyway, so here's our myofibrils, and the myofibrils have two very important proteins, and those are called myosin and actin. So the actin looks like these wave kind of things. They're microscopic, of course. And then the myosin look like these, almost like spoons, or, but they kind of, they kind of look like that. And then they're stuck to something. They're, they're, they are stuck, and but when they're not stuck, they're supposed to pull on the actin. So remember we talked about that stimulus, that's why the stimulus is very important. That stimulus comes, and it makes the myosin not stuck, and the myosin pulls on this actin. So 
and it pulls on the actin. The actin is connected to the my myofibrils, which stretches the myofibrils. And when the myofibril stretches, it stretches the myofibers. And then when the myofibers stretch, it stretches the fascicles, which stretches the whole arm. And, and then all the muscle. Yes. And, that's, and, and, and that happens within a fraction of a second, which allows you to move and dance. So, uh, uh, that oh, is amazing. That is so cool. Yeah. So this is the musculoskeletal system. So hope you enjoyed this video. Always learn and always love learning. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. bye.